Namibia's agronomic sector faces enormous challenge in coping with a devastating outbreak of fall armyworm alongside poor rainfall. The green scheme projects are currently under attack from the worms, with a tundra being the hardest hit. This poses a serious threat to food production, particularly maize, which is one of the main staples and a host for these insects. But the agency responsible for managing the green scheme irrigation farms aims to take proactive steps to mitigate the effects of the pests. Moving away, in fact, our target is to be above nine tons per head for all the projects that are planted. And the indication now, as I said on the ground, is that we will be above nine tons per, per head. And that's good really to offset the loss that we could have made uh, at the Tunda if you are looking at the entire portfolio. If this idea is executed successfully, the government farms are expected to meet their annual target of close to 40,000 tons of maize this year. He explained that in addition to the services of a technical expert based at Dongalinena Irrigation Farm, more high-tech equipment will also be used to boost production per hectare. This will be done mainly at Skondo, Uvungu Vungu, Dongalinena and Shitemo, amongst others, which are less affected by the outbreak. But poor rainfall recorded thus far further threatens crop production in the dry land of the Maize Triangle area. Much rain, especially in other areas uh, that uh, produce maize. Here we are talking about the Triangle areas, Otavi. That's one of the areas where we normally get um, good harvest of maize, apart from the green scheme. Same thing, of course, with the Zambezi region. But again, uh, although there is good rain these days at Zambezi region, or in Zambezi region, the issue is that uh, the planting season is virtually, <laughs> is virtually over. The rain came a bit late. Uh. Wanga stressed that they will keep a close eye on the fall armyworm situation at the Etunda farm to ensure that they are completely contained while planting ground nuts, at least for now, which are not host to the pests. Jeff Tashihumino. NBC News, Vendok.